For today's tip of the week, we're going to cover changing skill and views versus drawings. Now, this is an important subject because in ArchiCAD, you have two ways to change the scale. And they work very differently with your views. I can do it by selecting the view, clicking the settings button and then changing the scale there. Or I can do it by going to my layouts, clicking the drawing on the layout and saying modify source view settings here. Okay. Um, excuse me, actually, let me back up on that second. Um, th this is actually for the save view. So I can do it versus save views versus drawing. So within the save views, um, there are two methods when I'm doing save views. When I'm doing save views, I can select the view, click the settings button, or I can go to the layout where the drawing is placed and click modify, modify source view settings. In either option, it's going to actually open up my view settings. When my view settings are open, I can then go to my scale and I can change that scale. Now, when I change a view, the scale of a view, what you're going to see is that the scale of the view will, um, or I should say the, the, the scale of the, the dimensions, uh, the dimension arrows, the symbols, the text, um, will all change in relationship to my uh, drawing. So what happens there is that if I were, if this drawing was on the sheet on, on my layout, and I changed it from quarter inch to eighth inch, the text would remain the same at 12 point. It would look the same in both cases. The scale of my symbols would look the same in both cases on my drawing. What would change is in my, my um, actual model view, model view. What often happens whenever you change the scale of a view is that the uh, information uh, that is scale sensitive, as I mentioned, like dimension arrows, like text, like symbols, those kinds of things will change in size. And so while it looks like it's changing in size in your model view, meaning um, within your the work that you're doing, when you actually go to the layout, you'll notice that the scale of my text is the same. It's 12 point, whether it's eighth inch or whether it's quarter inch. What changes is that it might, even though it's eighth inch and it's still like at um, 12 point, is that because the, the drawing itself now is smaller, it's 50% smaller, right? Uh, the text now has increased, um, or I should say it's increased size, but because the, the scale of the drawing has decreased, remember the text has stayed the same size, but the scale of the drawing has decreased. So that means that now the, the, the text might look a little bit more uh, messy because the scale of the drawing is smaller, but the text has remained the same. Now, if we're modifying the placed drawings, this alert works slightly differently. So in this case, I actually select a placed drawing you know, on my layout and right click and go to drawing selection settings, not model view source view settings. So if I say modify source view settings, I'm editing the view settings, the save view. In this case, I'm editing the drawing selection settings. When the drawing selection settings opens, I go to size and appearance. I go to drawing skill, and here it shows the original skill. The original skill is quarter inch. If I change it to eighth inch here, okay, what it's going to do is it's going to override that view skill, that save view skill. Okay, it's going to make it eighth inch. So now what's going to happen is that it's going to have the opposite effect. Instead, it'll be more like my drawing is being scaled down on a copier. So in other words, what happens is that similar to, you know, changing in the save view settings, the actual, uh, uh, the actual drawing does scale down 50%. But the text, the dimensions, um, the uh, uh, symbols also all scale down 50%. So if you look at this symbol right here for this detail symbol as an example, you can see that it's scaled down 50% down here, just like everything else. Okay? So the disadvantage, uh, there are the advantage here first, is that it does scale everything down. So you don't see messy, you know, um, 
text sitting on top of each other. You don't see messy symbols sitting on top of each other because everything's been scaled. But it's like a copier. Everything's been scaled down 50%. So it's all staying the same in the same place. And you're not seeing any um, uh, information being on top of each other because, again, it's just like a copier. It's just scaling it down 50%. The disadvantage is that it's not maintaining the same look and feel for text or um, symbols like detail symbols and section symbols for your dimension um, tick marks or dimension arrows. And, and typically, when you scale a drawing down to eight from quarter inch to eighth inch, you typically want the point size of your text to remain the size. You typically want the arrowheads to remain the same size. You want your symbols to remain the same size, even though the scale of the drawing the graphic has been scaled down 50%. So what we recommend typically is that you actually uh, use the view settings and change the view settings, not change the drawing selection settings, unless you want to have everything scaled equally down 50% or whatever scale you're changing it to. Because if you change it in your view settings, that means that everything, um, your, I mean, or I should say, uh, you'll maintain the intelligence that will keep text, will keep symbols, and will keep other kinds of information the same size while the drawing graphic scales down. And that's typically the way you want to see it. Because otherwise, for example, if you scale it from eighth inch or say say quarter inch down to maybe one thirty second of an inch for some sort of site plan that you're doing. Well, all of a sudden, all the text on that drawing are probably illegible because they're so small. And that's why you really want to keep the text the same size. Uh, and that's why you would typically want to ship um, uh, uh, same size for the documentation. And that's why you typically want to use the um, and change the scale option within the view setting. Okay, that is our tip of the week.